stupid fucking COVID rules. So fuck you, Houston. It is not my fault. Houston can't get their fucking shit together to apply other rules properly, and we can't go. So that's why I'm not in Houston. Okay, so talk to your elected officials who fuck up everything. Assholes. And I was like, oh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not me, it's fucking Houston. Houston's all fucked up. I mean, I didn't mean to purposely yell at you, but I've answered this question a million times. Is this? Suck on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now, as you know, I like to pack up things while I am getting ready so that after the show, it doesn't take 10 years to pack up because it always seems like you're exploding in the room when you're in drag. So I slowly try to put things away that I know I'm not going to use again. So that's what I'm doing. So while I'm doing that, I will be talking. Love you, Bianca. Hi. Love you, too. She's trying to be nice. Who's trying to be nice? Me? Yeah, it does take a lot of effort for me to be nice. It is challenging. That's Kenny in the background making little rat noises. Yep. Somebody earlier said, where is Kenny? Because where's Jinx's friend Kenny? It's like the nerve. Friend, yeah. <laughs> she could be your friend. I'm your employer. Although we have a lot more fun together. <laughs> yeah, we have, yeah, we do have more fun together. Because we cackle. We have the same interests. Just hating people. It's my favorite to get up and go thrift shopping. It is, and I must tell you that Kenny and I truly one day will put. We have the 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 archive of some of the worst drag photos of everyone. <laughs> so yes, uh, get ready. One day we will put them all out into the world. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's so weird. If I go into this one light, my face goes. If I go into this light, it looks kind of spooky. Okay. Uh, have you done a bus tour? Yes, I'm on a bus tour. I always travel by bus when I'm in America. I've done six. Uh, I've done six. Um, uh, when I can, it's easiest because then I don't have to travel um, by plane, which gets very difficult. But when you're in Australia, obviously you have to do by plane. But in America, we do by bus because I have a lot of clothes, I have a lot of shit, and um, the travel is too much. And I like to do multiple shows back to back. So um, the more shows I can do, the better. I don't like time off. So with the bus, we can get around the country really, really fast, which is what I like for me. Uh, Kisses from Brazil. Brazil, I'm coming. Mexico waiting. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I am very excited to go this time. I am. I am. I am. Uh, Let's see. Are you excited? Uh, which queen would you say is on par with you when it comes to comedy? I don't think about those other queens. I don't know what they're doing. I don't care. I think... Ugh, this eyelash was crooked. I think um, everybody's different, you know? Some people, some, people, some people think some people are funny. Some people think other people aren't funny. What the fuck do I care? They can like whoever the fuck they want. I can tell you what I don't care is when someone says they don't like me. Ha ha ha, don't care. Can't worry about it. That's a kind of shit that's crazy. When you compare, it gets stupid. Your hair looks heavy. Yes, it is heavy. Well, not really. It's actually not heavy. Um, my hair is kind of like, you know, it's own little world the way that I put it together. I'm just gonna re-glue my eyelash. There we go. Sometimes it sits a little low, so you have to put it up a little higher. And that is that. See, now we're back. Who was the one? Oh, wait, what was the second? Uh, my sister that had that up to a 1964. Well, your sister had very good taste. Is she dead now? Do I encourage people to bring my children to the show? Oh, God, no. No. I mean, not unless you want to be mother of the year. 
I'm definitely not uh, for children. That's what Kasha Davis and Nina West do. Shows for kids. Not me. They're about friends of mine, but I don't deal with children. Barely. I'm barely for adults. Please come to Canada. I'm coming to Canada in the spring, you fuck. The Canadian dates are on my site. Canadian dates are on my site. Brazilian dates are on my site. Argentina dates are on my site. You people don't really do research. tonight. Let's see. What ear- oh, someone just said what earrings. I don't know. I don't know what earrings I'm going to wear. I think they're probably going to be hoops, but lips are looking good. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Do Sammy and Didi travel with me? No, they do not travel with me because they are too old. They are 16 years old. Can we do date night here? Yes, London. Let's do date night. Sure. Send me some news and we'll talk about it. What am I drinking? I'm drinking white wine tonight. I have a white wine before I go on stage, um, which is helpful. Um, I used to drink a lot more, but uh, one white wine is actually just kind of like settles the mood. uh, And that's what gets me going. Because I have a lot of stuff to remember on stage. Because I talk for an hour and a half. Um, You know. (sighs) Am I trans? Uh, No. Come to Brazil. Oh, fucking Brazil. I'm going to kill Brazil before this is over with. I really am. I really am. Have I ever tried Harvest White Wine? No, I haven't. Oh, I just realized. Oh, let's see. What else? Oh, hi, Piper. Piper likes my nipples. Oh, thank you, Piper. I forgot they were out. Sorry. It's just a little toasty in this room. Yeah, it gets warm in dressing rooms. Piper, send me a picture of your nipples and let's see what we can compare. Uh, favorite drink? Uh, it depends. Depends on what I'm in the mood for. Like, if I'm drinking... Oh, God, it's really hard because I can... If I'm on, like, vacation, I, I would drink something different than I would if I was, um, backstage. Like, you know, I drink wine when I'm backstage, but I can't drink, uh, that. How, how, how much is a... How much for this wig on your head? I do my own hair, so, no. Oh, you like my nipples, too. Hey, Wesley Woods. Wesley Woods used to be my neighbor. Oh, Wesley, I miss you. I haven't seen you in forever now that I moved to Palm Springs, but you gotta come out to the house. Come out to the house, Wesley Woods, and we can cackle. Favorite frozen food? Oh, God, I don't know. Um, what do I eat that's frozen that I enjoy? Oh, those little uh, fake chicken nuggets Courtney Ann got me eating, because she's vegan, so she brought them to my house one time and we ate those. Nice dimples. My dimples are real. That's about the only thing. Um, uh, oh God, this light. My nose is real too. I haven't had my nose done. No, I haven't. But I did, uh, many, many, many years ago, I did have my top lip done to balance out my bottom lip because my bottom lip was bigger than my top lip. So I had it done. And then there was a moment when I was enjoying these really horrible temporary fillers, which were, oof. And then I was like, ooh, I started looking fucked up. You know, like Trinity the Tuck. And I was like, ooh, I gotta stop that. So I haven't had lip filler in about maybe four years. Maybe longer than that. I think Hurricane Bianca, the first Hurricane Bianca, so it must be longer than that. And um, I stopped doing it because what I originally had done was silicone the first time. So, yeah, it just started getting bigger and bigger. But what's so funny is that on days that I don't shave and, and my facial hair grows in, and if I take a photo, people go, ooh, she had her lips done. It's because there's fucking hair around it. It's like a pussy. So if you put hair around it, the lips look bigger, you fucking idiots. And everybody's like, ooh, she got lips done. Or somebody says, stop with your lips. Suck my fucking dick. I can do whatever the fuck I want. But I didn't have them done. I had them done a long time ago, but I haven't had them done lately. Because I started to look a little crazy. I saw it. Okay. Uh... But, you know, there's always some fag online who feels the need to tell me what they think. Which is always fucking hysterical. Yeah. 
Let's see. Did you make all your outfits for your choice? Yes, well, I have, well, soon you're gonna get this lovely little uh, video montage of all the clothes that we have, because as I said, I'm gonna be on the road between now till September 22, I will be touring with this show. So we have quite a few outfits uh, that are happening uh, for this, and I have two amazing friends by the name of Philip Heckman and Mark Happel, who are people that I worked with in New York City many, 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 many years ago. And during the pandemic, we were able to get together and create a lot of the stuff for the show. So there's a lot more to come, and I'm gonna do uh, a souvenir program that you'll get to see all of uh, the stuff that we've done. So this is just a glimpse of what we have for America. So I'm traveling with America. I have quite a few things here I'm traveling with America, but um, we continue all across the world, you know, because we have America, we're gonna have Canada, we're gonna have Asia, we're gonna have Australia, we're gonna have Latin America. No. The only place I think I haven't been, oh, South Africa, I'm going to again. Uh, the only place I haven't been is Antarctica. And we're working on that. Do a show for the, pig for the penguins. Mm -hmm. How do you get the confidence not to care about what people think when you're on stage? Well, it's different when you're on stage. When you're on stage, it's your job, you know? So when you're doing a show and people are here to see you, it's your job. Those are the people I care about, making them laugh and dealing with what I need to do. Uh, that doesn't mean, that it doesn't, I don't care about people online who don't like me because then you're not my audience. If, I, if you're not my audience, then I could give a shit. You know what I mean? So if you're here to see me, that's a different story. You know what you're getting into. You obviously have a sick sense of humor. And usually there's smart people who know how to take a joke. But when you're dealing with people online who are assholes or cock-sucking fuckwats who feel the need to say, eh, this offends me, well then I'm not for you. How's that? But I don't care about them. They don't matter to me. You know, they just don't like it. You don't have to like it. A lot of things I don't like. But it doesn't matter to me, you know? That's what I'm saying. So of course you worry about where you're working and you worry about the job you're doing for the people that care, for the people that pay, and the people that give a shit. So that means your audience. We're here to see you. Lexi Sharp is here. Oh, I didn't know you were here. Yay! Lexi, I'll, uh, uh, Lexi, um, when you're done, when the show is done, go to the merch table and talk to Jamie. And then uh, Jamie will get you back to come see me uh, because I haven't seen you in forever and I forgot you were here. Uh, do you make all of your wigs? Yes, I do. Do you prefer the stage or the camera? I like both. I like all of it, you know? Oh, here comes Wendy Ho with snacks. What did you get? Oh, what the uh, fuck? fuck? Sure, look, Wendy got donuts. Yo, Yay! I did it. I'm barely able to oh squeeze my it in God. these Okay, save them for That'd after. I'm wearing a cow pants tonight, though, so I could eat them, but I can't yeah, do it right girl. now. That's the problem. That's what I hate about Troy, is is eating so late at night. Ugh, it's the worst. Yep, yeah, because we don't really get to eat. Uh, can you help me get my friend to see you in Cincinnati? Which I have no idea. I don't even know. I haven't looked at that. Yeah, yay, Wendy. I'm gonna go lick all those donuts while she's on stage. Uh, I wish I was, I mean, I'm here for you in spirit. Oh no, boo, Lexi, I thought you were here, here. Where are you? Are you in Nashville, cunt? Oh, this is the worst, because I can't actually DM while I'm doing this, but anyway. Um, I love you. Oh, hi from Chicago, I'm coming back, Chicago. I'm coming back. So Lexi, are you in Nashville? I'm trying to read. It's so weird, because everything's going behind schedule. Uh, so I'm reading slowly. Do you get to leave right after the show or do you go out? Oh no, I have to go out. I have to go leave. Uh, we're also in a COVID bubble. Uh, oh, you're in Knoxville. Fuck, I forgot. Okay. Um, no, uh, we're in a COVID bubble. We can't leave and uh, that's part of the thing. That's one of the reasons why the meet and greets are separate is because if I get sick, things go wrong and that's not a good thing. So I cannot go out and have a good time. So it's actually good discipline. We finish the show and then we pack up and then we head off to our next city. I think it's a 10 hour drive to Kansas City next. So uh, I usually get on the bus and pass out and then wake up in the next city. That's how it works. Hey, the Nikki doll. She's so pretty, that Nikki doll. She's always been very nice. I'm, I don't think we've ever met in person, have we, Nikki doll? Um, or if I have, it must have been forever ago. Uh, but no, definitely not since she's been on the show, but she's always been very sweet and she always comments and likes my posts. And says hello, and she's gorgeous. Uh, what can I do to take a picture with you in Brazil? Come to the show, you asshole. I'm coming to Brazil! Oh, 
Okay. You know what I need? I'm going to ask your opinion because I need to figure out what earrings to wear with this. Skincare. What do you want to know about skincare? What do you want to know? Okay, well, there's a lot to skincare. Number one, you have to wash your fucking face. That's the most important. A lot of you bitches don't wash your fucking faces. Uh, and uh, that's the main thing. But uh, I don't know what skincare you're talking about in particular. There's a whole process. Does it feel odd sleeping on the bus? No, because I have my own room in the back of the bus. Um, I have my own little room that I that I that I have. My own little bed and desk and computer and clothes hanging back there. It's kind of fun. Kind of like Dolly Parton. You ever see her bus? It's like that. I mean, I'm not I don't, I'm not comparing myself to Dolly Parton. Just the bus. Uh, I'm doing skincare, but my skin doesn't care. I know you got you've got to moisturize. Moisturize, you really really, really have to. What happens to Willem's makeup line? What happened to Willem's makeup, period? Did I have acne when I was a teenager? Not acne, acne, but I would have a big zit. You know, I would get one of those big tumors every now and then and still get them. At 46, it'll happen. Uh, Bianca, where's the Indianapolis selfie? I need to check with Kenny. Because, see, this the problem is sometimes Kenny takes them with my phone and sometimes he takes them with his phone, so I need to double check. Uh, did you see you were mentioned in Roger Evergreen review about everybody's talking about Jamie? I did not. Snap a lash. Oh, Lexi, mwah, I love you. I'll send you a message after this. Is, uh, let's see. Uh, which queen would you, which, with which queen do you like to perform? Um, I do a lot of stuff by myself. Um, but, um, I love everybody for different reasons. I'm not saying I love them all. I'm saying I love everybody for different reasons. So, when I mean, we get to do A, B, C, D, I love that. Uh, because we adore Courtney and me and Darren, obviously. Um, I love working with Bob. I love working with Monet. I love working with Lady Bunny. I love working with Sherry Vine, Wendy Hope, Coco Peru, Jackie B. Those are all my girls. Those are all my girls. I uh, can't wait to see you next week. I don't know where I'm going to be, but yes. Bianca, what do you do successfully? Not Beyonce, I can tell you that. How fucking good was Trinity as Beyonce? Ooh, 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 ooh. Girl, I had to eat my words. I had to go upon the internet and I'd eat my words. I said, I was wrong. She was good. And it only took seven years, but she was good. She was good. I love her. We cackled, cackled, cackled. She called me and we couldn't stop laughing. I was like, girl, that came back to get me. Uh, uh, adding more lipstick. Adding more lipstick. By the way, have you seen Darian Lake online? She looks gorgeous. She looks amazing. Go to Darian Lake's page. Give her some love. She has lost so much weight. She looks absolutely exquisite. I am so happy for her. Healthy and happy and looking gorgeous. I love it when my friends are doing well. I really, really do. Favorite song right now? Oh my God, I'm the worst. I don't know anything with new music. I'm really bad. Um, I usually listen to a lot of the same stuff all the time. Um, I'm horrible. Favorite Madonna song? Oh, you know what I love? I love. Well, I do. You know, I'm a big Madonna fan. But I love um, a lot of Madonna's ballads. I love the most, uh, more so than the club stuff. But the club stuff gets me going. But I do love. Um, uh, what is it? Power of Goodbye. I love. Uh, and what's the other one? Uh, Traded Frame for Love. All those depressing ones. I love. Yeah. Uh, love you. Okay. Let me pick my earrings. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay. So I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to wear, okay, so this is my earring tray for this tour, all yellows and blacks, but I think that what I'm gonna have to wear, because the, I think I'm gonna have to wear yellow hoops to go with it. I think these, I think I'm gonna have to do these because, yeah, that's it. Because I think these are too thick. I think these are better, don't we think? Do we like these? Mm, these. The bigger ones, yeah. I should do the bigger ones. Yeah, that's what's gonna work. Because this caftan has a lot of yellow, not a lot of black. So that's gonna have to do. And also, which is something that I showed you faggots last night, drag queens, you need to buy your little alcohol pads, like so. And every time you put on an earring, you clean your fucking ear. So your ear doesn't fall off, you stupid cunts. Why don't you like wearing your hair down? I don't like my hair down because I don't like hair. I sweat. And I don't like hair here. I don't like hair against my face and I don't like it long. You can't wear long hair when you're in a meet and greet because when people are hugging you or people are touching you, back when they could. Uh, it always gets caught. And I usually wear sequins and the hair gets caught there. 
And um, I've just never liked long hair. I can do it for photos, but I don't like it in real life. Uh, I can't, I can't. You see? And then you clean your little earring here too. Uh, so I'm not a long haired girl. Now, two things. Adore Delano loves me in long hair, and Adore Delano loves me in, uh, is it, are these the same earrings? Are they two different sizes? Oh no, it's the same. Adore Delano loves me in a nude lipstick, which I never wear, and she likes me with my hair down. But, guess what, Mom? Can't do it. Can't do it. Nude lipstick makes your teeth look too yellow. Look at any bitch with nude lipstick. Watch them smile, they look horrible. I don't care how pretty you are. Teeth look yellow. Nope. And when you spend a lot of money on teeth, that's another thing. A lot of these queens get their teeth done, but they only do the top teeth. Do them all, you stupid cunts. Now then you look stupid, you're like a fucking horse. Not gonna name any names. Trixie. Mm. Jiggly. Mm. Uh, when you start a drag, did you use glue for earrings or did you, no, I've always, um, uh, always wear clip-ons. So I wore clip-ons for many, many years. I only recently had, well not recently, but the past, I don't know how many years ago it was, Michelle Visage and I had my ears, uh, there's a video. Uh, Michelle and I went to a mall in Houston, Texas and I got my ears pierced <laughs> with her. <laughs> it's a funny video. It was just Michelle's birthday, so send her birthday love. It was just Michelle's birthday yesterday or the day before. I'm a little off schedule. I don't know which day it is. I agreed with the door. No, I mean I love long hair. It just doesn't it just doesn't work well for what I'm doing, you know? I can't have all that hair. And also like like pretty girls like, you know, Plastique and Naomi that have all that gorgeous hair. I love it, but I can't I can't um wear that kind of stuff. And I can't wear flat hair. I got a big face, so I need bigness, you know. Have you noticed that like, RuPaul never wears bangs, you know, or as they say in the UK fringe? Yeah, it's just one of those things. She just doesn't like it. And I don't like all of that. I can do it if it's up and behind me. Notice that my ends are always snatched. Or they call it laid. Laid. Because I don't like hair here. It makes me crazy. Um, uh, how many Madonna tours have you seen? I have seen quite a few. For, oh, uh, the very first one I saw, I was 16 years old, which is when I saw Blonde Ambition. I saw Girly Show. I saw a uh, reinvention tour. I saw MDNA, because we made her jacket for MDNA. Uh, what else did I see? Uh, what was the last one? I did not see the, the last one, Madame X one. I didn't see that one. Um, but yeah, I do love, I do love Madonna. Not for music, I guess because I grew up with it, you know, it's part of my life, part of my, my youth. Yeah. That was short-lived, my youth. Do you do wear braces? No, I do not wear braces. No. Mm. Yes, you'll get a BDR onesie when I see you. I will. You gotta tell me what color you want. Private message me about that. The reason why I wear these, it's because when you're a drag queen, I don't know if you know this, um, but uh, the reason why they became my thing is because when you put on your tights and your pads and all of your other stuff, it's very hard to find clothes that fit you that you can wear. So I, I always have to like to have something I can zip up in case I need to go pee or in case someone shows up and says, oh, I forgot about meet and greet. We need to take a photo or something happens. You need to have something quick to put on. Wait a minute. Do these match my headband? Oh, I think they're the wrong yellow. We've got, okay. We've got like 1900 shades of yellow, Kenny. We're going to go on an 810 so we have a half hour. Okay, Kenny, sh should I switch to the, oh, uh, this is a problem. This, okay, so y'all don't realize this, but every costume, it, it's there's so many different yellows that I'm using. This isn't the right is yellow. Should we do these? These are new ones I just got. These, I think, are a better color for that. Yes! Don't we agree, kids? Okay. Uh, I was about to go out there with the wrong shade. Look at the difference in yellows. Y'all, they would have read me off, oh, girl. <laughs> No, I didn't know how many shades of yellow. Well, you'll see when I do the little display of photos uh, that you'll see all the costumes and stuff that were made yeah. and all the different yellows. We need to go. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. Uh, let me look in this mirror. Okay, what's your other question? Oh wait, I gotta clean it. Where's my little alcohol pad? See, alcohol pad. Hey queen, this is the Gulf. Okay. Is there gonna be a Hurricane Bianca 3? Yeah, there is. Is this the right shade? In the camera, but Bring not, the cap. Does it match good. the headband? No, it doesn't. It's the golden one. 
don't think it matches. It does it? So it's the other yellow. Fuck my life. Why does it look that way in the camera? Son of a bitch. Now we gotta switch earrings again. Uh, uh, uh. We gotta match the headband. That's what we gotta match. I got these yesterday for a dollar at a store. I bought them in every color. Are you in New York right now? No, you stupid cunt. I'm in fucking Nashville. I'll be in New York because I got to come back and do two shows. Okay. What matches, Kenny? Bring in the caftan. Let's see. <laughs> Kenny's gonna bring in the caftan. How much does time take you to get ready? Uh, I get ready uh, rather quickly. I like, uh, I don't like sitting in the mirror too long, so I can get ready in about an hour. Uh, but if I'm doing like a photo shoot or something, it might take longer, you know, because you're, you're worried about a photo shoot. Okay, so this is the yellow we're dealing with. So, what yeah. the... It doesn't... It's the same yellow, though. It's the same headband. That's the crazy? headband. Yes, you're crazy. Does okay. this, this matches this. Does it not look at this? Kenny is lying to me. It does match this. It just maybe I'm seeing it in the light weird. Yeah, well, this is the headband. You, this is the headband that goes with it. <laughs> it's either this or the turban. It looks. It was something about this light. Sorry. I don't want to wear the turban with it though. No, no, no I already no. got hair on. I have a keep, turban keep that matches ones. it. We're good. We're good. <sighs> Kenny. He worked with Jinx, who has two earrings. <laughs> no taste. Okay. It looks right to me. Thank you, honey. I appreciate it. Bianca, it matches. Yes. Thank you. Here we go. We're going to have a lot of conflicting light in here. Yeah, I know. This room does not have the best light, which is why everybody's been saying, Bianca, you look pretty. <laughs> and I always know it's a lie when someone says I look pretty. Uh, the trick is to know you're not pretty, then you're set for life. There's nothing anyone can say that's going to change it. But remember, those pretty girls get old and ugly. So it doesn't matter. Hey, Ariel Versace, how are you? I've been seeing you get naked online, girl. Ooh, she's always showing all her little naked photos going, ooh, look at me. I guess if I was young and had an ass like that, I'd be doing it too. But pretty soon, when I start my OnlyFans, I'm gonna be showing all my business. I'm kidding, can you imagine? White eyeliner, what do you use the best? Uh, I use NYX white eye, is it NYX or NYX? My liner. It's, uh, it's milk. Is the pencil? Oh, remember milk? Um, Nyx white pencil, and then I use the liquid as well, and they're both good. Kimchi swears by it, and then I use my white clown white powder to kind of clown white clown white powder to set it. I can't wait for Bianca's OnlyFans. You're the only one. You're the only one. I'll put out my sex tape. Yeah. Actually, I did fill out something for OnlyFans and they declined it. Mm. I'm kidding. I did it. <laughs> Could you imagine? That'd be very funny. Oh, flyaways, flyaways. Ooh, there's one right there. See it? Yeah. Flyaways. Howdy, Bianca. Howdy. Uh, favorite Canadian city? Winnipeg. Because um, there's a lovely vintage store there called Vantage Vintage Boutique run by two sweet little boys that I go there and visit. Uh, and they are amazing. If you get a chance to go to their store, they're great. They're also online, Vantage Vintage Boutique. And they send me all these great uh, dresses, all these great prints that I then turn into little Bianca dresses, we call them. Uh, but they have a great selection of stuff. And they're a very small business, and I believe in supporting small businesses, which is why I support them and my drug dealer. Hey, wait, where'd you get your hair to build a wig? Um, well, I order all my hair wholesale. So it's from a different company. It's a company called Giant Wigs. Um, and it's a company that you just, you know, you buy hair. So you buy hair to do lace fronts, you buy hair to do uh, wiggery and stuff. But I've been in the wig business for a long time because I used to do wigs for um, the opera and for the ballet. Uh, when I was much, much younger, which is why I, my hair is always big. Because in the opera, you're forced to make large hairdos for opera divas to balance them out. So, um, yeah, so a lot of my stuff is pieces and you make it bigger and bigger. Uh, counting down today is till Salt Lake City show. Yes, I'm excited, Salt Lake City. Yes, I get, I get some time off in Salt Lake City too, which is good. Kenny and I are gonna go to a spa. We're gonna be fancy and treat Kennedy to a, a little spa day because he's been really good. Yep, and we'll go sit and have wine and be fancy white, white rich ladies until they see that I'm actually a brown Hispanic man, but... Mm. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really weird with no music. Love from Jacksonville, Florida. I'm gonna be in Florida soon! 
Uh, I will be in Florida. I don't know if I'm going to be in Jacksonville, though. Mm. Brazil, I can't wait to see in Brazil. Orlando and Fort Lauderdale. Orlando and Fort Lauderdale, that's where I'm going. Yes, yes, yes. I know quite a few people there. Uh, what am I looking at? Can you recommend some good highlighter palettes? Oh, well, that's the kimchi. This little highlighter palette from kimchi, who I love kimchi. Kimchi sent me this. And I'm brown. I'm very brown. So these two are the perfect mix for me. I absolutely love it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So that's the best. Hi from Oregon. Scotland. Yes, Scotland. We will be announcing soon, as well as the UK and all over Europe. It's coming soon. October, they will be announcing the dates, but it looks like it's going to be spring because my schedule is a little wild until then. Lots of love from Columbus, Ohio. I was just in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, you just spent time with Darian Lake. She's the best. I agree. I concur. And that is a bitch who needs to go on All Stars. That is an All Star. Is Miss fucking Darian Lake a lip sync, a fucking assassin, bitch? She will come in there. I thought. You know what? Our season. I thought we were never gonna get rid. We never gonna get rid of Trinity or Darian because those hoes. Because that was back when you had to lip sync when you know things were going wrong and you could save yourself. They were so fucking good. So fucking good. And you don't know this, but when you're doing the show, we don't ever get to see them lip sync from the front. We only see them lip sync from the back. So we have to give comments about it later. And we have no idea if they know the words because we can't see them. <laughs> Which is really funny. Yes. Oh, hey, Katie P. Yes, and you look great too, Katie P. Lost all that weight. Katie P is a good friend of mine. And Miss Courtney Axe and Darian Lakes and Miss Kasha Davis. She was with us in the beginning. Please come back to the Philippines. We're working on coming back to the Philippines. Yep. You'd sign a prenup for a date. All right, Forrest. Send me some nudes and we'll talk about this. Are you interested in a 46-year-old man? I got to be careful. I got to be careful. The younger ones are always a problematic. But everybody's younger than me because I'm so old. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else is there. Oh, Brazil. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, I've got about five minutes before I have to go get dressed. When are you coming to Florida? Look at the calendar, bitch. I'm coming! I'm coming soon. I will be there before November because it's on this tour, Florida. Uh, let's see, what else? Miss you, B. Oh, miss you too. I can't see who the hell that is. Hello, Bianca. Saludos de Argentina. Yes, Argentina. Break a leg, lady. Oh, thank you. Hey, Miss Thing, good to see you. Um,. Yeah, it's that thing. Did someone say Candy? Was Candy Muse on? We had a good time with Miss Candy Muse. Candy Muse and I did um, that Brady Bunch thing together. And um, we had so much fun. She was a hoot. What kind of white wine? I do Chardonnay. I can't do uh, Pinot Grigio. It's a little too flowery for me. Uh, saludos de Mexico. Si, sí, Mexico. We're going to have a good time tonight. I'm excited. The audience sounds like a lot of fun. And you know what's been really great about the audiences, just in general, is the fact that everybody's been cooped up in their house. So everybody's like so excited to be out and having fun. And that's what's been so great about the show. So it's like this new energy, which has been really, really great. So even if you're tired or, you know, you're trying to adjust to the time change or whatever, it's as soon as you get out there, you're like, yes, these are my people. Paraguay. I have not been to Paraguay yet. Glasgow and Edinburgh, yes, coming up soon. The UK dates are coming up. Yes, they are coming up. Um, what else? What else? Yes. Let's see. Bianca, come to Brazil. I said I will. Oh, it's the most beautiful place. Yes, 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 I will. Okay. Hello from Denver. I'm coming there Thursday. Yes, Denver, I will be there. I haven't been to Denver in a while. Um, some of the cities, it's challenging because some of the cities don't have the proper venue. Uh, and, and because of COVID time change and, you know, moving shows around, it's been different. So I will be there. Uh, do I get high before the show? I'm not a high person, no. I've uh, In my youth, I was a pill-popping co-core. Uh, but, uh, no, I'm not a... I don't get high, no. Come to Boise. Yeah, I'm good. Um, we got about 20 minutes to the show. You want to get dressed in like 5 or 10? Yeah, I'm going to get dressed in 5 minutes. So I've got about 5 minutes left with you people because we haven't started with... Uh, yeah, waiting on Wendy Hill because uh, they have to check everybody's vaccination when they come in and all that kind of stuff. I know. Tricky. Hello from Minneapolis. Can't wait to see you. Was that? I think I was just there. 
Or was I? I can't remember. What ages do you recommend for your show? Adults. You're waiting in the grand tier. Ooh, I'll see you in a minute, Mariah. One of my good friends is Mariah. Mariah Balenciaga, who I love. That's my good girlfriend. I haven't seen her in a while. I love her dearly. Uh, you have something on my lower lash. Oh, no. Thank you for noticing. Let me see. Oh, you see? You just keep adding more black. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm a raccoon. Not because of my makeup. It's because I get drunk and go through people's trash at night. See you soon, BB. You and Raja are my favorite winners. Oh, Raja won? Mm. No, I love Raja. Raja is a good time, especially when she's fucked up. Which is all the time. Yeah. She, li she likes her weed. Oof. She likes her weed and her wine. We've had many nights together cackling. Ah, being goth, what, what? Oh, being goth, black fixes everything. Yeah, yeah, I do add a lot of black. What foundation do you think, what foundation do you think stays on the best? Um, it varies on what you're using. Uh, for me, I'm a brown person, so it's very hard to find the right color for me. MAC base is a little too uh, smoky and ashy for me. So I use two different types. I use this stuff called Black Opal. Black Opal is a lovely makeup for lovely, gorgeous African-American women, but I am the lighter, I think I'm probably the, the lightest color, uh, which is called Rich Caramel, which is what I use. Or I also use the other one, uh, which is my other favorite color, which is Heavenly Honey. So I use those two. But I also use Kevin O'Quan, who was a brilliant makeup artist from the 90s, uh, did everybody's makeup. This right here is like geisha paint, and this is truly the best. And this is number 13. This little pot will last you forever, but this gives full, full coverage. So for highlight, I use number six, and then I use this, but this is definitely stage stuff. As I said, it's like geisha makeup where it's extremely thick, but you can literally go boop and it doesn't move. You don't even have to powder it. That's how brilliant um, it is. So I swear by this, I have three different shades depending on how much sun I get because as soon as I get in the sun, I, I adapt to color. Like if you saw that Brady Bunch thing, I had just gotten back from Mexico and girl, I took a Xanax and sat in the sun and I was brown. And that's when I played Candy Muse's mother. Oh, and my other child, who was uh, Shea Coulee. Yeah, yeah, I was their mother. <laughs> uh, what do I think about Gigi Good? I've never met her. I've never met her, but she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. And that's the thing is that um, everybody now is so young. I haven't met them and I haven't, I'm, you know, I left New York um, right after Drag Race for me. So I, I don't know them on a personal level. I think the last of the girls that I knew from Drag Race at that time would be Bob who I'd worked with, and Monet, um, and 4G, and them. They were they were there when I was there, so I have not met Gigi uh, yet. So, but she's beautiful. I mean, those photos, gorgeous. Yeah. Brazil, I'm, com I'm coming to Brazil, Jesus Christ. How's Lady Bunny? Oh God, I just talked to her the other day. Uh, a mess, Lady Bunny's a mess. Bunny mess, but she's consistent. <laughs> I mean, when you talk to Lady Bunny, it's like calling your grandmother. It's like you need to sit down and have an hour to actually talk to her. You know, uh, where was my New York City apartment? Oh God, I had like three or four, five, I think, in all the years that I was there. But I'm actually looking to buy one right now that I'm excited about that um, I will have pretty soon. But I'm not going to tell you where it is because I don't need you to show up. But yeah. What about Envy Peru? Oh, Envy Peru is fabulous. Uh, I was just in, um, where was I with her? Amsterdam, Amsterdam. I got to see her in Amsterdam because I was there doing a show. She's a lovely gal. I'd met her many times before uh, Drag Race. Um, so run, yes. Sorry, can I run this in the binder upstairs? Uh, you... Yes, you can, yes, you can. Kenny's talking to me, like he doesn't realize I'm busy talking to you people. I'm adding some of my kimchi highlighter. Kimchi's not even paying me for this. 
What a bitch. Okay. What was that? Send me kisses. No. Coming back to the East Coast. Correct, I am. I'm coming back to New York October 14th to 15th to do my two shows that are already sold out that I will be going back for. Uh, we, will I buy a property in New Orleans? It can be. Can you be my boyfriend? Um, the problem with property in New Orleans, I don't know where I want to, want to live yet, um, but I am going to get my New York place um, next and maybe, maybe New Orleans. I have family down there. I mean, all my friends are down there. That's where I'm from. Bianca and Thorgy collab, please. God, oh, Thorgy and I used to get really good and drunk together years ago. She's a good time. She is a good time. And she's like me. She knows how to pile hair on top. Come to Vegas. Actually, we the problem in Vegas is venues, but um, I will be passing through Vegas. Do I think Kylie deserved to win? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Kylie is one of the most amazing performers I have ever seen in my life live. And um, we've known each other for quite some time. And uh, she's kind of my house a lot in um, Los Angeles with Mariah. And we would have pizza and wine night. And uh, one, <laughs> we had one good long night where it was me, Mariah, uh, 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 Sonique, and it was well, Kylie. Uh, but, I, but we always call her Sonique. Sonique and Miley Cyrus. We're at my house all night to wee hours in the morning. And, uh, yeah, it sounds as crazy as I'm telling you. But we had such a good time. It was um, the night of my show because I, I was performing in L.A. And Miley came to the show and then came to my apartment later. And we cackled, cackled, cackled. Uh, as I take a sip, what's my favorite? I'm, I'm, I'm shitty cheap wine. Uh, so I do yellowtail. Because <laughs> when I'm on the road, it's the easiest thing to find. Yellowtail. So I don't try to get anything fancy. Uh, how do I respond to people who are rude? Oh, I missed the question. How come you never do a show in a Vegas? The problem with Vegas is they don't have the right venue. I had done the Hard Rock once before, and it's not the best venue for me, because it's folding chairs, which is not what I like. I think if you're going to pay for a ticket to sit and watch a show, you shouldn't be in a folding chair. Sorry about it. Uh, what else? I like the diversity, though. I don't know what that's about. Are you going to Brazil? No, I canceled Brazil. Uh, have a show in my hometown of Palm Springs. I, well, that's another thing. The, the venue that we had before was the Riviera, which they now turned into a hard rock, which is not going to happen. So no, I will not be performing in Palm Springs, which is where I live as well. So, boo. Are you planning on doing a show in Canada? Yes, you fucking cunt. I'm going to Canada. It's on my website. TheBiancaDelRio.com. You people do not do any... You've got a phone in your hand where you can actually order dick, pizza, anything. You can order shit from and Amazon but, and <laughs> tickets, but you don't fucking do your research. Go to TheBiancaDelRio.com. Right, Why does Adora call you Willow? Oh, because it's uh, Grandmother Willow from Pocahontas. <laughs> That's why. Because she's Pocahontas and I guess I'm the old tree. You know what, Wendy has come into my room and used my hairspray every night, and I'm on to this, like, have you not bought your own can? Here she comes. Oh, bitch. <laughs> I haven't. Because <laughs> I'm afraid it's going to explode in my bag. This is why you cover and it. I don't. You cover it with blue tape, painter's tape, around the tap. And fine, it I'll go buy my own. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. San Francisco, yes! Okay, yeah, look we'll at me. Both be there. This is going to be the new rule. You can no longer speak to me online unless you go to the website first. Okay? Yeah. I'm doing multiple nights in San Francisco. Right. Did the Warfield one night and then we do another venue another night. Is she on yet? She's on in a few minutes, so I need to get you dressed before I go and help her. I gotta pass off her bike. Well, you can do that. I'll pee and then I'll get ready. All right, I'm going to go pee and get ready. Damn, Bianca is prepared. Yes, I am prepared. Yes, I have everything I need. All right, so the show's going to start soon. Do I miss Shangela? No. No. Why would I? Um, okay, so show's about to start. Thank you, Nashville. Thanks for tuning in. This was fun. It kills time. It pisses Kenny off because I don't get as much done. But, um, yeah, so I will see you soon in your country or town. As I said, I will be touring with the show till September 22. So get fucking ready. 
I'll see you in Mexico. I will see you in Buenos Aires. I will see you in Brazil. I will see you all over America. Tomorrow, I will see you in Kansas City. Then I will see you in Colorado. Then I will see you in Salt Lake City. And it goes on and on and on and on and on again. So um, uh, truly, as I always say, thank you guys for supporting or even giving a shit about me. Uh, it's been an amazing eight years since Drag Race. Really, can you be eight fucking years? Back when the seasons actually mattered. Eight years. It's crazy. All right. So I'm about to go on stage and be a total cunt. <coughs> and I hope to see you soon. That's the ghost of RuPaul in my throat. I will see you soon. Uh, I love you all. Mwah. Bye. And if these earrings don't match in the photos, I'm coming for you cunts. Yellow. Difficult to match. Difficult. I'm getting out there. Zach, fuck you, Zach. What seat are you in? Zach's complaining I'm not out there yet. We have an opening act, Zach. Are you in your seat? Did you do your COVID testing? More lipstick. All else fails. More lipstick. You need to go back to Drag Race. No. Would you go back to high school? No. Bye. Love you too. Okay. Show's gonna start. Miss Wendy Ho's starting the show. Okay, here we go. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Talk soon.